G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. Have you ever been out astro imaging and then had your entire session ruined despite your very expensive and complicated setup? You've been cock blocked by the universe who have sprinkled magical drops of microscopic water on top of the telescope glass, thus rendering all your images in romantic soft focus. Uh, it is a common problem and one that we are going to address with a new product from Celestron. Celestron have launched these dew rings which sit straight over the telescope OTA. So it looks really clean and doesn't look like uh, those scrappy straps that go over your rig. That's right, we are going to be exacting revenge on this malevolent higher power using science and technology. God is dead and we have killed him. Also stay tuned to the end because you and I need to have a uh, little talk about this semi-dysfunctional abusive relationship that we're in. And I need to give you some housekeeping on where the hell I've been. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. This video is sponsored by High Point Scientific. High Point Scientific are an American vendor that have no um, deal with any particular brand. They just want to sell astronomy equipment, so they don't have any incentive to push one brand over another. They have a huge range, which means you can get whatever you need. They will help you get to where you want to get to in your astro journey if you need support, and they have a price match guarantee. So there is really no reason to go anywhere else. All the links to High Point Scientific, including all my equipment that I use, are in the description below. So please click those links because I get some money and I need some money so I can buy more things to do more videos for you. So what is dew anyway and why is it a problem for us? Uh, the thing is that all around me and you right now is a combination of oxygen and a bunch of other stuff, a lot of nitrogen and all of that combines to be a mass of stuff we call air. It's the air that we breathe. But the air isn't just one homogenous thing, it's a mix of all of these gases and depending on where you live it can be quite humid and humidity is when there is moisture in the air. The best analogy that I like is the sponge analogy. The air is like a sponge and when it gets cold the sponge contracts. So if it is humid, if there is water in the air and there's a temperature differential, i.e. the temperature suddenly drops, you are then contracting the oh, God damn it. And out comes the water. And this is essentially what dew is. And all of that microscopic water initially is just floating around, but it all settles gradually because it is heavier than the air. And so that's why we get dew all over the grass, all over your car, all over your telescope. So a good solution, a dew heating solution, is essentially evaporating that water back out into the air and away from the telescope.
Okay, after a bit of mucking around, I realized that the way to control this software is in the CWPI software from uh, Celestron and Planewave. Uh, you gotta go to connect up there and then click on mount USB, which was a bit counterintuitive for me because I don't have a Celestron mount. Otherwise it'll run through the hand controller or whatever, but uh, once it's plugged into the PC, you run CPWI, you go to the connect mount USB, it will detect the dew heater and then you can go into the settings here. In here you can change the temperature units to Celsius, like normal people. <laughs> and then you can do a calibration in there. You can adjust the LED brightness, which I think is pretty cool because I'm in an observatory situation. I want that LED off all the time. Uh, power down on disconnect data. And we've got graphs running, the environment graph and the power graph. And I can see the environmental overview here. So I can see that humidity there is 62% in the observatory. Power draw, the dew heater one and two. I believe I've got it connected to dew heater one. And we can go manual if you feel like it. Yeah, that looks like it's all working great. Okay, that install was really straightforward, I gotta say, and I'm looking forward to testing this out on a dewy night. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be working already. It looks like it's working. A couple of things I wanted to show you. I'm working on an all sky camera. This is the QHY 462. Uh, the reason I picked this camera is because it's color. So I wanna do all sky stuff, but instead of looking like those grainy black and white images, uh, it looks something like this. taking a few images with this lens and this one is pretty cool because there's a version 2 which means you can pick up these version 1s pretty cheap like less than a thousand dollars and the version 2 ones go for you know, three four grand I've done other astro images with this series of lenses and I can highly recommend them it's just a nice one to have in the astronomy toolkit now we need to talk about why I haven't cut my hair yet and what's going on with the beer donation. Craig, as you know, uh, sent me a challenge to not cut my hair until Easter, which I won, and I posted with my address and my favorite beer, and he sent me a case. Now, when I went to the post office to collect said beer, the lady uh, looked at me, she brought out a trolley, and she said, uh, you're gonna need this. Another case of Abbey Ale beer showed up. Another case of Abbey Ale beer showed up. Uh, this is good, guys, thank you. Um, I am going to be extremely drunk for a long time. Thank you, Craig, for the initial bet. This is even better than sponsorship money. This is better than Patreon. This is my audience sending me alcohol for what I do. And there's something beautiful about that. Anyway, you've been watching Start Stuff. Remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.